Okay guys, so this PowerPoint we'll be presenting you today is on solar concentrators. It is basically a scope of nanotechnology. Now, let's take a look at the table of contents. They include introduction, solar energy, a brief on nanotechnology and finally the main topic itself which is solar concentrators. Introduction. One of the major concerns of the world right now is the depleting of our current sources of energy, that is the fossil fuels. So people are turning to natural sources like the sun for provision of energy. But the normal panels are capable of converting only 15% of the sun's total energy. Thus, a new form of harvesting energy is required. This is where nanotechnology comes in. Nanotech is a relatively new technology which has limitless possibilities and potential. From treating wastewater to curing cancer, has been used in many diverse fields. Though along with the benefits come the dangers and if we don't regulate the use of this technology, it can cause way more harm than good. But that is beyond the scope of this slide. This slide will focus on the use of quantum dots, nanotech, to solve energy problems during the daytime. Now, solar energy. Solar energy is a form of energy which is derived directly from the sun. It can be one of the best sources of energy because of its plentiful availability. More energy from sunlight strikes the earth than all of the energy consumed by humans in an entire year. With the increased attention towards the carbon neutral production, solar electricity is receiving heightened attention as an approach to sustain energy production. Now, let's begin with a brief on nanotechnology. Atoms are the building blocks of everything. Everything around us does what it does because of the arrangements of the atom inside it. These atoms can be reorganized in millions of ways to create wonders. Keep this in mind that the scientists and the engineers came up with a new form of technology involving stuff at a very minor scale, also known as nanotechnology. The idea behind nanoscience started with a talk entitled There's Plenty of Room at the Bottom by a physician, Richard Feynman, at an American Physical Society at Caltech on December 29, 1959. In his talk, Feynman described the process in which scientists would be able to manipulate and control individual atoms and molecules. With the development of scanning microscope, that is STM, individual atoms could also be seen. This was a major breakthrough. A uh, diagram of the STM is given on the right hand side. You can view it for, for the purposes. Now let's go into the main topic itself, which is the solar concentrators. Now, the current solar cells lose most of the sun's energy in the form of heat, as much as 90%. So, here's a revolutionary new tech, the solar concentrator. A solar concentrator is an emerging sunlight harvesting technology which has the potential to turn any window into a daytime power source. In these devices, a fraction of light transmitted by the window is absorbed by nanoparticles, that is quantum dots, dispersed in a glass window and then is re-emitted at the infrared wavelength invisible to human eye and a wave-guided solar cell at the edge of the window. This was coined by Victor Klimov, a lead researcher on the project at the Department of Energy Losses, Almelis National Lab. Thus, using this process, a simple window can be used to power devices like the AC during the summers as well as the heaters during the winters in the daytime. Now, research is being done to not only convert windows or rooftops but entire buildings into sources of energy via this method. If executed properly, all of mankind's energy requirements during the daytime could be easily fulfilled with solar energy and we can easily store it also for future nighttime purposes. Thank you. That'll be all.